Okay, welcome back mga kaibigan. Let Gaspi City game between Mobileye Bow Pals and Pop Cola Panthers. At uh, we're entering the uh, second quarter action. Of course, nakakalamang ng apat itong kupunan ng uh, Mobileye or rather Pop Cola against Mobileye. And of course, that uh, last basket, I'd like to make a correction. It was from Big mm. Pablo, the almost identical haircut with their... Uh, <laughs> Well, pag nakatalikod kasi sa game. <laughs> anyway, we're looking at Todd Bernard, incidentally. Ito, blowing hot and cold during the oh. first quarter. Well, I don't understand why he's not patient enough. The once he gets that ball with his back turned to uh, Antonio, he just wants to turn and face the basket and shoot right away. He does not even assess the situation, whether may rebound this ng phone pass, whether he has an advantage. Maybe the lane is open inside. He can drive against Antonio. But nonetheless, Todd Bernard... Siguro 60-70% of the time, no tinatanggap niya, humaharap ka agad yun, tumataro na lang at bumibitaw na yan ang tira. Oh. And, well, nonetheless, it's a four-point lead for Pop Cola, 26-22. And I take a look at the first quarter, field goals, pretty good for both teams. Pop Cola shooting a high 58%, Mobland 53% on the field. So once any team shoots above 50, that's pretty good. Oh, yes, and that's brought to you by Quick Time, the all-in-one glue technology by Loctite. So uh, still a, uh, well, what a first quarter we've seen, huh? Talagang, uh, well, high scoring, yung at first quarter, kung talagang tutusin natin, uh, TJ, no? That's true, and, uh, well, we've got a bit of a delay again, no, with some problems with that scoreboard. Yun lang ang uh, medyo nakakapag-antala ng konti para dito sa laro natin. Welcome back. Start of our second quarter action. And uh, of course, a uh, little correction on my part. The last basket in the first quarter was made by Vic Pablo. Mm. Pag nakatalikod kasi parang pareho sila lang kapitid. Si Jericho din yan. <laughs> and uh, lamang-lamang ng apat itong kupunan ng uh, Mobileye against Pop Cola. Here we see itong si uh, Mark Victoria. Oi! Quick offense! We take a look at some statistics from the first quarter. Very good shooting for both teams. Pop Cola 58% on the field. Mobile and Cold Pals 53%. So once any team shoots about 50%, I'll get that free shooting. And that's brought to you by Quick Type. The only one blue technology by Loctite. Is Bong Ravenna right now to Jerome Hesito. They will take the ball over to Big Pablo. Missing from the corner, Todd Bernard getting the offensive rebound. Was trying to put it back, but he was fouled in midair. Very active on the boards there. For finally, for Todd Bernard. And I'm going to, it's one of the few times that we've seen the phone pals rotate the ball. No? Oh, oh. Kanina kasi pag bumabagsak na kay Bernard, yung hindi na kagin yan. In fact, turn and shoot na kagin siya. He doesn't really even turn around. And look at the basket. Malay mo kung may rebounders ba siya o hindi. At uh, this time, he assessed the defense. He did not have an advantage. Swung the ball to the other side. Had a clean look for Vic Pablo, although he missed. But at least Bernard was there for that offensive rebound. Right now being given a chance from the free throw line. He missed his first. But Todd Bernard, so far, now show nine points to the first quarter. Second free throw on the way for Todd Bernard. He makes sure about that one. And Mobileye still playing here. Cedric McCall. And a short jumper. Went out. Just a bit stronger. As you were mentioning earlier, McCall are really surprising us because we don't know much about this guy. In fact, his statistics from his senior year were not that impressive. I mean, nine points and four rebounds as a senior is not really that much. But uh, so far, he's got 10 points in this ball game. Good time. Victoria, not to be in the ball. Not to take the ball. Now, one. Now, he got. He got. Now, one. 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 Oh, at uh, talaga doon po sa natin. Uh, siguro, we would uh, make mention yung uh, hard court na pinaglalaro. Mm -hmm. Dito ang ating uh, dalawang kapunan na ito. This is not the usual uh, wooden oh, yeah. floors. At uh, talagang pag uh, lumalatag ka dyan, eh, medyo mm -hmm. mas matigas yan. Well, hindi nga sila sanay. Cemento itong court na ito. Oh, oh. uh, the... Well, they were trying to explain. This is somehow softer than regular cement because there's a bit of yes. rubber underneath it. So, kahit pa paano, hindi siya kasing tigas ng basta-basta cemento. Lamang, 
But nonetheless, you know, these players are used to the maple wood flooring in the Phil Sports Arena and in the Araneta Coliseum. But when you go out of town, there are really some conditions you have to accept. Because they're not doing scoreboard nothing. But they're called pros, eh? Mm. So the Tala, William Antonio takes it out to Winnie Arbuleda. Arbuleda to William Antonio from the corner. He overshoots out there a little bit. Too deep underneath going to that reverse. And now Mobileye on the run with this offensive. It helps it out to Todd Bernard. Todd Bernard trying to shake off William Antonio. Mado double team. The wow. third. He gets it off the glass. Difficult move there. Spinning around Antonio. Muntik na nga siyang maagaon ng bola ni Arbureta. But getting that shot off still for Todd Bernard. And he's got 12 points. Cedric McCullough. Jolas has just checked in. The game ball is out. Give it a bit. At exactly his range. And here comes Mobileye once again on the attack. And here's it a no look pass. But the guy big angat super bull kasi tapal. He will get the ball back. He will never give up. And finally, and what pa? Mayo para kay Gabi. Yan ang picture of perseverance and hard work for Gabi. Right na medyo na super pal siya ng unang attempt. Let's take a look at this nice lob pass again. Nakatalikod kasi to si Rielo bit. Blocks the first, stays with it, goes up with the second, and getting a foul. To boot. Yes, Jojo Lastimosa was the one who was uh, guilty of his first personal and Gabby Gui right now for this bonus free throw. He gets it. I mean, he gave him a lot of money. No. I don't know. 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 I don't Lastimosa. The only Luxin. Luxin to Cedric McCall. Back to Lastimosa. Lastimosa with the win. Oh. Here up here, net. Ito na naman ang mobile line phone pals. Todd Bernard, the cross guard pass to Jerome Mejelsito. No need to hurry for mobile line. Mejelsito to Bong Ravena. Quick ball. Was needed that time. It was uh, shown by Bong Ravenna. Uh, a very quick spin on the baseline against Jolas. No, alam natin mas mabilis sa si Ravenna once he received that ball, spun right away and got away from Jolas. And now Mobile Line takes a two-point lead here in the second quarter. With his own spin, he will answer right back, Cedric Patolo. Well, he's starting to show us that he really can score, no, Benji? Oh, Difficult right. moves. Nice creative move there by McCullough. And to the one, the open line, Jerome Mejelsito. Escaping the reverse, won't go, but there's a tip in. So Gabby Kui, actually, Balik EBA ito. And he has shown that he has a right. Dito sa bayan ng superstars to be playing once more. William Antonio on the drive. The ball was knocked out of his hands. Actually, last touch by them to William Antonio. So the ball will go right back to Mobileye. Two point lead. Eight minutes and 37 remaining as we take a look at this piece of action. Sabi nga natin, eh, itong si Cedric Macalo, eh, hindi lang isa ang klase ng mga tira nito. Paiba-iba. Slow-mo replay was brought to you by PLDD Teletubit. Tipit tawag dahil pre-pay. Well, if you want to compare the imports at this point, tabla po. Oh, oh. They both have 12 points apiece. So, you know, we know that Todd Bernard is a great scorer and a great shooter for Mobile. And with, if you give McCullough 12 points also, that's not uh, putting him down. And Gabby Gui back-to-back baskets. Paranita some phone calls. Don't look right now, but he's got nine. So, Matala, eight minutes and 20 remaining here in the first half. At lamang ng apat ang Mobile Line phone pals. Let's see, referee's whistle. It will be a full timeout. Nama ita tawo grito, mga kaibigan. As of this moment, the uh, Mobile Line Phone Pals have a four point lead against Bob Cola, 34 to 30. Actually, it's been a pretty big run. Para sa Phone Pals, it's been a 16 to 4 run. Is at one point, Bob Cola was leading 26 to 18. Now they're down 34 to 30. And then we got there. It's up the bench have been uh, stepping up for Mobile Line, including this one and just checked to get Patrick Fan. Oh, yeah, now it's an offense, Patrick Fan, picking up that bad pass from Pop Cola, turning it into instant two points. So add on to that lead for the phone pass. Ali Noyan and Kalamanga. In the meantime, no need of seeing. 
They go to Ali Peak. Ali Peak, the best score of the game to win in McCoy. He goes to a bump on Ali Peak. He goes for it. Same thing to follow. It's right for the follow-up. Pero na palakas. And the ball went out. Last touch. I'm Bob Gola. And a six-point lead by some over line fold pals. Right now they have a chance to increase that lead with this offensive. Fran over to Todd Bernard. Bernard. Another turn that back of the baseline. And look at just now Pop Gola. And they even put Noli Maxim now on Bernard, who's a taller defender. As compared to him and Tony, who was guarding him earlier, but still alive. the situation inside. You can get rid of Antonio. Right now, he's going to try again. He overshoots. Todd Bernard right now getting some rebounds for Mobile Line. Fold pass there. Running the break. Ball was deflected. Big over with Todd Bernard. He was going for the slam. Ball slipped out of his hands. And here comes Bob Gola Panthers right now. Jojo Lastimosa to Noli Luxin. Luxin! Can you get out of my way? And he did, and the ref is obviously calling up for charge. So, uh, tough break, finally, to some of Kula Panthers. Ayun ang nangyayari sa kanila, may pakigigil na ang TJ, eh, no? Malalamangan sila. Medyo hindi na maganda kanila mga execution. Masyado nilang pinamadali. So, ito, mga DPD pa ulit ang bola. Tangan ito sa kapunan ng mobilan. Bong Ravenna. Seems an opening in the middle. He was fouled. Ito na nangyayari close. He thought Bernard, you know, sometimes he's becoming a decoy. Because earlier on, we'd see when they'd give him the ball, he'd turn and shoot right away. So now Pop Gola doesn't really know what's going to happen once he gets the ball. Because he's shown them a variety of moves or a variety of decisions whether to shoot right away or to move that ball around. In that instance, they gave it to Bong Ravenna. He was able to park the Red Sea in the middle of the paint and pick up that foul. He's on the line right now. He missed his first three throw. Going for his second one, and that's it. Now a nine-point lead. Para sa mobile line, full of fouls. They're running this quarter, 17 to 2. Wow. Grabe. Talagang napatahimik nila tong Panthers. And Cedric Mikalo having a tough time. Too many defenders in front of him. Ito na naman. Taas break na naman ito. Para sa mobile line. The finger roll was short for Bong Ravenna. Claiming he was fouled. Right now, Cedric Mikalo. from the assist pass coming from Giorgio Lastimosa. And he uh, was uh, actually liking that move dahil pwede nga natin masabi kung gagod tayo narinig ng si Cedric Macalo pwede pa magpahingin ng voting si Sean Green. Huwag po nang kapurahin muna si Sean Green, di ba? Samantala, ito si Ali Pink is not going to travel in. Look at the defense that pinapakita ni Gabby Kuya. Take a look at this slam by Cedric Macalo. Wake up, you guys! Sabi niya, to Cedric Macalo. Can't do this all by myself, but at least this could spark something. Mm. So that's his 14th point of the ball game. Pop Gola down by seven. Five minutes and 44 here in the first half. Bong Ravenna right now to Todd Bernard. A quick release. Send it out. Look at Gabby Creep out of that time. Lumabas pa. In the meantime, Noli Luxin receives the long pass from Jonas. Cross court. Esto Balesteros battling his way in. Wala, ayo kanya tira. Patrick Brand. Small guy who can leap high, getting the rebound over to Todd Bernard. Going for a three point play right now. A good decision there by Patrick Brand on a three on two break against Pop Gola, giving it to their info who's streaking down the lane. At maliit ng yung babande sa kanya si Jolas, picking up that foul, maintaining his balance in the air. And it's now a nine-point lead for the phone pals at 41 to 32. And these guys, they're big and they're running. They don't have to the full blind. They have the height advantage against Pop Cola, and they're the ones who are running. Oh, that's true. And alam mo yung Pop Cola, maliit nga ang malalaki nila, Noli Oksin and Ali Kik. But they don't run as quick. Oh, they're not as agile as the big men of uh, the phone pals, namely Don Tamaso, Victor Pablo, Tete Pura Gatsuka Bernard. May problema na ng korte pag gumisa ka niya mga free throws, ano? Nag-big face. 
Let's see how we think it's Jericho Dinero, Mado Double Team. He kicks it out. Jolas right now. Got the lead in. He overshoots. Bong Ravena. Ito tomak muna naman ang mobile. Tag Bernard. Catch the shot. Wala. Kamaso is dead. Wala pa rin. Bakit naman sila nagmamadali? Ewan ko. Parang sabi ni Bernard, maubos na oras ko. I mean, he could have pulled it back. He obviously had a difficult shot there. But he still decided to throw up a prayer there. Sometimes yung momentum, eh, no? Baka mapigilan nga naman, eh. Well, of the three. And Bacalo is trying to do everything for his team to get back here. And that was a BLDDIDD long-distance shot. Sending Bacalo 17 points here in the first half. Aba, aba, aba. Todd Bernard. To Don Camaso. Long one, pero Camaso. Ito na naman, ang top four of Panthers. Bernie Luxig. Pagpunta kay Patrick Fan. This time, naayos na mabuti. Todd Bernard. Jericho Dinier. The shot clock at Cess Tank. Todd Dinier puts it up. Against the... Todd Dinier likes that shot. Di madali yun. Todd Dinier had to bail them out there with a facial shot against Ali Peek. 43-35. So, ano ba? Gusto niya pakinisin yung mukha niya Ali Peek. Facial eh. Yan naman. Three minutes and 35 remaining. Cedric Macau, they go to Ali P. Shot clock winding down. It says three seconds. Cedric Macau, Jolas, does he know it? They lost that opportunity to even make an attempt. And a shot clock violation will be called against the Panthers. Alam mo, ang isa sa malaking problema ngayon ng Panthers, Benji, is that Ali Peek only has three points in the ballgame. They have continuously been trying to go to him down at the post, but great defense being shown by the phone pass. Good double teaming. At ang problema naman, pag rinorotate ng pop corner yung bola, maganda rin ang defensive rotation na. Oo, oo. Magtala, eto si Pablo. To Patrick Pan. Long one! He gets it! PLDT IDD long distance shot! He's got five. So, everybody just getting in the picture for the phone pass. Anybody coming off the bench has been productive. Sending back to the phone pass. The top goal is passed. Pero wala pa rin ito ng tira. Ang Bong Ravena. Back to Fran right now. And now the phone pass came all to the table. Pablo, the big pace. Now you can grab it to rebound. Well, they have the luxury. You know? Medyo, uh, I would say, ito kalamaman ng uh, foul pass. We're about two and a half to go in the first half. So, I don't know if they'll keep Bernard out the whole, the rest of this half. But if they maintain the speed, he just might. Ito. Bola from way downtown. Wow, BLDD, IDD, long distance shot. Dalawa na yun. Back to back. Sabihin nga natin, bumubuhay lamang para sa pop cola at this point is Cedric McCullough. Just a temporary replacement for Sean Green. Odiniera, nabitiwan ang bola. He recovers. Shot clock, 5 seconds. Binigay kay Patrick Fran. Patrick Fran, nagmamadali. Bibigay kay Pablo. Aabot ba? Aabot! Pero teka muna. There's a charging foul on Patrick Fran. Don't know. In a kick out shot, he had no way to go, but bumped right into Donny Luxin. A minute and 51 remaining in the first half. Mobile line, win this lead 46 to 38 against Pop Cola. We continue with the action here in the first half. Only a minute and 51 remaining. An eight point lead being enjoyed here by Mobile Line. Full foul slowly somehow. Pop Cola is also picking up on their game. Of course, uh, headed by Cedric McCullough. And look at this points off turnovers. Oh, points off turnovers. Mobile Line scoring seven points out of the turnovers from Pop Cola. We have quickened the pace of this ball game here in the second quarter. And stats brought to you by Quick Tight, the all in one blue technology by Loctite. At si uh, Jericho Dinera, natawagan ang kanyang ikalawang personal foul and sending Ali Pink to the line for two free throws. Ali Pink, sabi mo nga kanina, maganda yung coverage na binibigay sa kanya ng mobile line, but uh, all night long ba, pwede mong pigilin si Ali Pink? Mahihirapan siya, no? but one thing they're doing well is even though they're letting him receive the ball, pag natatanggap, 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 natatanggap
And what advantage that gives is they give them more time for the double team to come. If he receives that ball near the basket where he really likes to just turn and shoot, may he not come with the double team again. But so far, so good. Good job by them. Let him receive the ball as far as they want him to. And we have seen some players na pag maganda yung pinanggaling na yung laro, no? especially yung kasi Ali, yung kapatang yung kapasa yung laro niya. Career high actually, round. yes. Oh, Alam mo na pagka buti-uti, hindi siya makagawa, hindi siya makapenetre, hindi niya magawa yung gusto niya. He's getting frustrated at somehow baka madala niya yun eh, throughout the entire game eh. May gigil. Eh, hindi naman napigil. Puro gigil na lang, di ba? Mahirap yung ganun eh. Well, we have seen a lot of players na ganun na nangyayari. Nasisira yung diskate. Take a look at this again. Medyo malayo pa si Ali sa basket. He's carving his face inside. Ayun, no? Sabi nga natin, a little frustration on the part of Ali Pink. Look at that. Actually, first attempt pa lang niya. His usual game, pumapasok na yun, eh. The frustration could be setting in on him and it could be a mental thing na, no? Yes. Na talagang gigil ka masyado sa laro mo and you might not have the same confidence that you normally do. He's even trying to complain to our referees for some non-call. So it's a frustration. Well, I mean, obviously once Ali Pink receives that ball, the ball has really collapsed down inside and he only has four points but he still has eight rebounds in his game. Yun lang ang medyo iiwasan nila. Pwede mo sila matuwa. Kamatala, ito ang split charities para rito kay Ali Pink. And just a six-point lead para rito sa kapunan ng open line foul fouls. Ali Pink, he has a mouthful against the referees. He had a technical foul being called to him by referee Bernard. And referee Bernard trying to say, I think he made an unsportsmanlike gesture. Oh. How do you call that? International sign of love. Bad sign. Ang ang sinabi ni referee Bernard. Well, as you were mentioning, in talagang frustrated setting in on Ali Peak. Most probably, I don't know, huh? But they need Ali Peak inside. Most probably. Well, baka mga diskarte din ang mga coaches natin. There are some na paupo ito na yun para palamigin, di ba? Technical free throw. Converted by Vic Pablo. So now it's a seven point lead for Mobile Line Phone Fouls. And Ali Peak has to pull down. I want to show you some technical. But you know, I'm going to have to play against some pressure here. Seven point lead right now for Mobile Line. We have all the session. With one minute remaining here in the first half. I think Brown over to Vic Pablo right now. Pablo's about one minute remaining in the first half. Oh, all right. Big Pablo that beat this from the baseline, and here comes Winnie Arboleda. Arboleda to pass. Nolly looks in. Pina de Rosa. Pero. Sayang. No pass pa para kay Nolly looks in. Pwede naman yung kerecho. Alam pa kung hindi yun. Sa matala, ito. Pabaso. 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 Wala lang yung bulo. Pero iba klase din yung mga braso dito. Mahaba eh. Taking it strong against Ali Peak. Walang takot. Siya, makalabangan ngayon ang mobile line. 49-40. Nine seconds of, of the first half. Winnie Arboleda to Ali Peak. Ali Peak. Once again, the double team in here. William Antonio. Antonio. Can't benefit. Antonio. Bigay kay Noli Luxie. Noli Luxie. Winnie Brains jumper. It won't go. Cedric McCollow. Hard working import para sa Pantola. Missing. On that attempt. And the buzzer sounding the first half. And what a game Mobile Line has been playing. Kahit na pinaop, pahinga muna nila yung kanilang import na si Todd Bernard na papanatili nila ang kanilang kalamaga. They have a 9-point lead. 49-40. That's the story of our first half and we'll be right back for more.